Today I'd like to introduce the shrimp Thor ambienensis, whose common name is the sexy anemone shrimp, or squat shrimp, which is part of the order Decapoda, the family Hiplotididae, genus Thor, species ambienensis. Thor ambienensis are small shrimp that usually grow to a length around 13 millimeters. The body is an olive brown color with white patches surrounded by thin blue lines. The name sexy shrimp comes from the shrimp's habit of carrying its abdomen curved upwards and shaking and swaying its abdomen while stationary or moving. Oh yes, Ambienensis is too sexy for its land. Ambienensis is usually found in the Atlantic and Indo-Pacific Oceans, including Hawaii, the African coast, Polynesia, Taiwan, China, Canary Islands, and the Red Sea. Ambienensis can be found at, the, at a depth between 0.5 to 15 meters along coastal regions with temperatures ranging from 25 to 27 degrees Celsius. Ambienensis is usually found in small groups, all living on or near small anemones. Yes, Ambienensis is too sexy for its love. The sexy shrimp are protrandic sequential hermaphrodites, which means they are born as males and then later on transform into females. Ambienensis mates until later on in life, before transforming into a female. The change happens very quickly, usually within two months. The first loses its appendix masculine and develops white spots on its pleopods and maturing ovaries. After its second molt, the male is completely transformed into a female and is ready to produce eggs to be fertilized by younger males. She will stay this way for the rest of her life, never once transforming back into a male. Ambienensis breeds multiple times a year. The male seeks out a female, and once he finds her, population begins without courtship. The male deposits its sperm into female gonophores located on the third parapod, using its gonophores located on the fifth parapod. After copulation, sometimes the males will go with the female, but this is not always the case. The habit is often observed in captivity, but not usually in the wild. Once the female lays her eggs, she carries them hidden underneath her abdomen and will care for them until they hatch. Oh yes, an eminensis is way too sexy for its life. The female's eggs usually hatch during the night, two to three weeks after fertilization. The larvae are phototaxic, moving towards the light, and once they hatch, will drift along the ocean current for 20 to 30 days, undergoing 10 larval stages. Zoe 1 through 9, finishing up with the decapoded stage. Once developed, the larvae usually molt during the night every two to three days. It is believed that the larvae will settle first and then seek out an appropriate host. The normal lifespan is usually between three to five years. Oh, and yes, Ambienensis is too sexy for its food. Ambienensis are thin and fruit often relying on their host for food. They consume trapped matter on their host and enemies, as well as plankton, brine shrimp, krill. But when food is scarce, they will even feed on their host tentacles. The most important ambienensis is too sexy for its fans. T. ambienensis is often used for research, but its main economic importance is related to the grain industry. Ambienensis is a hardy, beautiful, and efficient cleaner, sometimes found removing parasites, cleaning up waste, and detritus near its host and enemy. Its unusual dancing, vibrant colors, and symbiotic relationship with enemies, and sometimes other corals make it a popular addition to marine aquariums, big and small.